the Lady Lancers currently are in sixth place in the Crossroads League, tied with Mount Vernon Naz. Fight the player for Coach Ryan Boland. Slaps it right to the third baseman. It comes up. And just like we've been watching all season long, Taylor Gearhart legs it out. This ball hit into left field over left fielder's head. Gearhart's going to score from first. Huffmiller running for third. She is in with an RBI triple. So Alyssa Kuffmiller getting the scoring started for St. Francis here in the bottom half of the first inning. Ball hit right at the shortstop off her glove. That's going to score Kumpfmiller. Whitman's in at first. This Lady Cougar record. Ball drilled into left field. So runners at first and second after the single by Smith. That'll bring up number 15, Megan Thomas. They could also get it done at the plate. This ball's hit right at third baseman off her glove. Whitman's going to come home to score. White stays at second. Gearhard slaps his ball into left field and it's fair. Right down the, the line, Featherston comes up firing. He's gonna hold Gearhart at first. That'll bring up Kumpfville. Ball hit into left field. Gearhart is gonna hold up at third. Featherston once, once again doing a good job of getting that ball into the infield right away. And into the outfield, Kumpf Miller makes the grab for out number one. And into center field, Gearhart camping underneath it for out number two. It's the first pitch, Kumpf Miller underneath it. We're out number three, so three up, three down here in the top of the third. Ball hit up the gut. Misplayed by Melzoni. So Smith reaches safely here in the third on the six. Slaps it right into center. Gearhart's gonna advance to second. So with one out, runners at first and second. Popped up. Thomas is underneath it for out number two. Ball hit right up the middle. RBI single for Alyssa Kumpfmiller. It's going to give the Cougars the one to nothing lead. Line out here beyond the outfield fence. That ball's drilled into right. Kumpfmiller is going to round third. And she will score easily. RBI single by Stephanie Whitman. And the Cougars are up now 2 nothing. One out here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss. So Heather Zangler gets her first strikeout of the game. Gets her looking. So back-to-back -back strikeouts by Heather Zangler here in the top of the second. right over to the third baseman. She's going to beat it out again. She is so fast down that line. There was not much that Clarissa Knight could do. First pitch inside. Gearhart off, and she is safe. So another stolen base by Taylor Gearhart. This ball drilled right at us. Ball's in for a single. So Gearhart's going to score on the RBI double by Alyssa Keller. And the Cougar is up now 3-0. Kokomo. That ball's hit right at Glenn Denning. And she makes the grab. So with bases loaded, Kelsey Glenn Denning, the shortstop, makes a great play there. Swing and a miss. So Heather Zangler gets her third strikeout of the game, second out of the inning. 
Ball hit into shallow right field, and it's a single. Rock advances to second. So a one-out single by Casey Lowe. She will bring up the top of the order. Slap right back at the pitcher. She's going to have to go to first, and Gearhart is safe. So once again, she's going to beat out another play. Listen, Keller, now your batter. She's going to hit this ball into center. Coming home to score is Loshi and Gearhart. So two RBI single here for Alyssa Keller. We got ourselves a ball game here. Two outs. That ball is drilled into center field. Sam Johnson tracks it down. Kuffmiller is going to score. Keller is held up at third. Aaron Throw sends Whitman home. Play at the plate. She is safe. Lady Cougars tied up here at seven. RBI double by Steph Whitman. Hits it right over the shortstop's head, and that'll do it. So Taylor Gearhart with a game-winning RBI single scores Abby White. St. Francis takes it here, eight to seven, over the Lady Lancers to split today's doubleheader. What a great game by Taylor Gearhart, no doubt about it. Hey Jeff, I Lady don't. Cougars get their first win at home, a big one here, an eight to seven comeback over Grace College. Taylor Gearhart with the big hit out there. Tell us about that uh, last at bat. Any nerves going up there? I tried not to be nervous. I knew I. All I had to do was get a base hit, so that was what I was focused on doing. You look a little more nervous now yeah. doing an interview <laughs> than uh, when you were at bat. Exactly. So you feel more comfortable with the bat. Next yes. time we'll get have you bring your bat out here, but uh, I think you went four for five in game two. Uh, big hits up there. You got an unusual style, that, that batting style, but it, it gets the job done. Tell me a little bit about that. I basically just try to hit it in the five-six hole and beat it out. That's all I try to do. And you do that a lot, very well. So congratulations, Thanks. Taylor, way to go. And Heather, you get the win here. First win at home, go eight innings in the circle. How's the uh, arm feel now? Eh, we'll ice it and it'll be all right. Ready to go again. I thought you did a great job of battling and, and keeping us close to do what we did. Yeah, I just did what I had to do. My team had my back behind me. Erica called a really good game and then we came out with the bats at the end, so. Now, it doesn't look like uh, the coaches are calling any pitches from the bench as we have in the past. Is Erica calling the whole game then? Yeah. She calls the whole game, and she does a really good job at it. Any particular pitch work well for you here this afternoon? No, it's kind of just a mix of everything, keeping them on their toes. And, and they hit some hard at times. Uh, a great job, you know, that, that home run by Winget. I thought it was going to end up over in Spring Street. <laughs> but uh, credit to you. You hang in there and, and keep battling in the circle. Yeah, I just I just try to hang in there. <laughs> well, you did a fine job this afternoon, and uh, congratulations getting that win today. Number five for Heather Zingler. And we'll get Coach. Thank you, Heather. Congratulations. You. Now we'll get Coach Bowen here. Big win, comeback win. Uh, ne never quit on these, uh, on these kids, right? No, you know, I think it's just last year, you know, the big thing that we were talking about in between games is just how well we make – our adjustments from game to game from team to team and we've been struggling with that right now and and finally kind of in that game two we're able to go to the bench and get some sparks here and there Abby White coming in and and getting that lead off walk um, unfortunately she missed the sign or maybe we would have won that in regulation but still second on a miss sign you know gets thrown out but we still rally around it and able to put ourselves in position to tie it up and then I, you know, I pulled Taylor Gearhart beside. I said, they're going to play you in. You need to hit it over their head and, and just do what you've been doing. And thankfully, we got the ball in play and right over the top. And it was, thankfully, we got the win there. We needed it bad. Well, and like you said to the girls there in the, the post-game huddle, you know, we've won three out of our last four now with that big comeback. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it seems like it's been here all year. We, You know, every team in the league's gotten better. You know, there's, there's really nine – nine solid teams in the league and there's some that are starting to identify themselves at the top two and three and you know I think you know a couple of the coaches in the league were giving me calls and kind of giving me some encouragement throughout just 
you know, when you get through these tough spells, and they're still scared of us. You know, they know that we can put up the big inning, six, seven runs in, in an inning, and, and we still believe that. Wayne and I both still believe that. It's just getting the kids to bite into that and continue to keep believing even when you're losing. Well, they certainly did that uh, in game two here today. A great comeback win. Congratulations, Coach. Keep it up. They hit the road now for, what, three in a row. Is that right? Yeah, we go to Wesleyan tomorrow and uh, Spring Arbor on Tuesday. And I think we get a break. Then we're home on Friday, I think, against maybe Marion. So it's getting into it. It never stops around here. All right. Well, if you can make it out here then on Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. Uh, come on back out here on Friday, and uh, we'll see you then. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Back to you. Okay.